Let me take you back to the Big Bang about 14 billion years ago, when the universe was extremely hot and extremely dense, and there was about a billion times more stuff in the universe than there is now. There was matter and antimatter. With this matter, we have protons and neutrons and electrons, and with this antimatter, we had antiprotons, antineutrons, and antielectrons. These days, you look around, you don't see much antimatter. Why is that? When matter, such as protons, meets its partner, antiproton, they annihilate and burst into light. But we don't see in the universe only light. We are part of some leftover protons and neutrons and electrons that happened at the very beginning of the universe that didn't find a matching antimatter couple. Why should it have been so perfect, so almost perfectly the same number of protons and antiprotons, but not quite the same? And it's what motivates us to go back and look at tiny asymmetries today and see if we can find this missing imperfection that explains the existence of the universe.